Jake and I are teaming up again for another ride to raise funds for children's education in Rwanda. Last year, we had one of the most unforgettable rides of our lives. This year, we're riding farther, climbing more, and expecting some wet, cold weather. I learned some valuable lessons on last year's Buckshot Ride. Pack less bulk, pack better lights, pack more candy. back at the, uh, the start point uh, of the route, the same place every year, and uh, something like 500k or 7,000 meters of climbing. We've raised quite a bit of money at this point, and I think that with our experience from last year, we should be fine. There could be some, some challenges, some low points maybe, but it'll be worth it. Oh man, I am a little nervous, but very, very excited. A little bit cold. Let's roll. Let's do it. <laughs> Early morning, super steep climbing. To wake up the body, gotta get something like 4,000 meters in today, so. Might as well get a good start at it now. There's never any shortage of uh, mud on our buckshot attempts. But at least there won't be dust, so we'll take it. There he goes. Dusty. Where did he go? Is he in the bushes? He's, like, right, he's right there, he's right there. He's gonna spritz us. We have a skunk blocking the way here. And he seems kind of mad. Honestly, Mike, I would rather have seen a grizzly. That would be a rough start to the day. Get out of here, bud. Just met up with uh, with Wes, good friend of the team, and he had prepared us the most amazing bike packing breakfast that I've ever had. Way better than my other plan, which was Mars bars. So <laughs> I'm very thankful. Made us bacon, made us sandwiches, made us coffee, had chairs out. Felt like kings, it was wonderful. That was an unexpected treat. I think this day is really going well at this point. Long way to go but that food stop is gonna make a big difference today, I think. We're feeling real good. Genuinely very cold and, uh, and windy. I'm not sure if it's gonna be like that for most of the day, but um, it might be the biggest challenge so far is just staying warm. Hike a bike time. My feet are like, I can't even feel them whatsoever. <laughs> I've always enjoyed hiking. I do that ride like once a year. Oh, gosh. We're around 70 kilometers into the day, which is really nice because that leaves us actually only uh, 200 more to go today, which is, I feel like that might just fly by. <laughs> Coming out of sort of the, uh, the deep woods now, and it seems like we've down the grasslands and I think we're probably going to be in that zone like this for the next good part of the day which is fine because it's beautiful and it's a lot faster. Overall, I think we were a little bit surprised at 
how arduous and slow some of the, the stuff we just came through was. So we're not cruising at this point. Uh, we're not setting any records, but having a good time and finally warming up a bit, so that's nice. The Peter Hope Lake climb now, and it's probably the, the biggest one punch climb of the trip. Uh, and it's super steep, but it's paved and the sun's out and it's not windy and it's not cold. So it's a great climb. Good climbing. Look at that. I think we finished the hill. I think we have a long descent now, which is very welcome because that was tough. That was a few hours of just grinding up gravel roads, but spirits are still high. I feel good now, I'm layered up for the descent. We've had wild fluctuations in temperature. It feels like three or four to 20 in a matter of minutes. What should have been the fastest descent, we couldn't go faster than 40 kilometers an hour. We had to pedal into it. We still have another 140 to go today. We're gonna be arriving in the dark, I think. Headwind that haunted us for so long has turned into a tailwind for now. And we're just gonna enjoy every minute of it because we have some serious time to make up. It's Miraculous. We've got asphalt, we've got a tailwind, we've got sunny skies, wind at our sails. This section of the route is just amazing. Big skies long, wide open, huge grasslands. I kind of feel like a, another country. dark again. We have another 60 kilometers to go from Monty Lake to uh, Adams Lake and it'll it'll be in the dark now. Punchy climbs but mostly descending and I think we're really looking forward to that because we've done a lot of climbing today. We made it to the Adams Lake Ferry at uh, like 11.30? 11.30? <laughs> it's almost midnight. We were expecting to be here a while ago. 11.15. 11.15, okay, there we go. We're gonna be at our cabin soon, which is highly necessary at this point because I am a zombie. Good work today. That was you a What did I say like a hundred kilometers ago? That was gonna be lasagna. Yeah. It's 5.30 in the morning. We just slept for a few hours and um, we gotta head back out. We've got over 200K to ride to get home today and uh, it is like four degrees outside. So we're putting on every layer of clothes that we brought and, uh, and we just really hope that it doesn't rain too hard later. So today's gonna be today's gonna be a big one. Today's gonna be a challenge. 
less climbing than yesterday, but it's gonna be colder and probably wetter, and uh, we're pretty tired from yesterday, so it'll be tough, I think. The goal is to race sunset, I think. Uh, it'll be close, but I think we can do that. Major climb of the day now. It's gonna go up from the north end of Adams Lake, up and over to Barrier, which is kind of uh, in the end game at that point for us. So if we can do this hill, we still have some energy. We're in really good shape for today. And the sun came back, and it's nice, it's warm. The rain in the forecast seems to maybe have been a lie. So our spirits are really high. The higher we go though, it's turning into fall. Every, every hour feels like another week forward. Could be October up here. Uh, so we're in Barrier, another um, 70 or so kilometers to go to get home. And the forecast didn't lie. It is raining now. It's quite cold and rainy. But final stretch, doesn't matter. Yeah, and of all times, this is the time to have rain. Clean the bikes up. Way steeper than I remember. And I remember it being steep. Great work. Oh, you killed it. Oh, it almost killed me. Oh, gosh. Oh.